I was trying to, I wanted to shoot four under the backside. It probably wouldn't have been enough, but I wanted to shoot, I thought four under would be a heck of a score the back nine. It's a, lo- a little bit tougher than the front, but uh, after birding 10, I thought it was possible. I ended up shooting even. I had a bogey and a double, but whatever. Steve said last week that he would call you when the time came. When he calls you, what are you going to tell him? Um, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll wait for the conversation. I'm not sure. Can you guarantee that health-wise you'll be good enough when we get to that point? If you were picked? Well, there's never a guarantee in anything. Um, and... Uh, you know he has to he has to do what he thinks best for the team, and I'm I totally support that either way. Do you think the there's a point where there's always been a group of guys, yourself, Fira, that kind of group that's always been on these teams. Is there a point in your mind even that at some point they, there should be the younger guy should get more of a chance? Not Jordan Spieth or or Kepka or anything like that, but we're talking about obviously Hoffman and Harmon and, and the Chapels on the team. Um, I think that you, you uh, the, the core nucleus of the team, the, the guys that are going to be the critical guys to perform, to ultimately win, are usually the guys, well, they are the guys that make it on points because those are the guys that have played the best. Those are the guys that you're going to look to to, to perform and play the best. So when you, when you take picks, you're not looking at those guys as being, you know, he's my top player. You're looking at Jordan Spieth and Dustin Johnson and Justin Thomas and Ricky Fowler and the guys that have performed and, and and those are the guys that have to play well for the U.S. to win the President's Cup. When you talk about added energy, do you see that transfer into power on a golf course, longer drives, hitting shots longer? Is it just no, a it's, more of a, it's more of a focus thing. It's, it's uh, more of being able to see a shot, visualize a shot, um, as opposed to being in a bit of a fog. But you have to feel good about the way you played this week overall. No, no, I'm very pleased. I just what I'm pleased is that the score is starting to reflect the way I feel I've been playing. That's where I'm uh, more pleased. I played uh, very steady, consistent golf for four days, and I was able to. Uh, I didn't have any five, six hole stretches where I fell off. Uh, that has been happening, and and it, it didn't happen this week. I felt, and I feel. Look, I feel a lot better after the round. I'm not overly tired, and. Uh, I practiced after the round a couple of times this week and last week. I haven't done that in a while, so th- it's all positive signs. When you were diagnosed with whatever it is, we're not, we obviously don't know, did the doctor say that the medication you would be getting should basically take care of it, or was it something where we'll see how it goes? And, and it wasn't, it was, it's really not that big a deal uh, as far as there's no real medication other than, well, there is a little bit, but it's more like uh, natural stuff and, and change in diet. and. Um, he said it'd take about a week to notice, and certainly after a week, I started to notice a difference, and I, I feel a lot better. So, uh, hopefully, this will continue an upward trend. But uh, it was a good start this week, and next week I'll uh, get back and see how I feel after working out and playing and practicing and so forth. But I feel a lot better. So this is a uh, whether I make the team or not, whether I get to the tour championship or not, I feel like I'm on the right track finally, and I uh, finally figured out what has been. Uh, I've been complaining about for some time now, and I finally feel like I'm on the right track to solving that. Thank you, Phil.